Hello and welcome to today's March 23rd daily trending news report as well as stimulus check information. If you're a subscribed member of my community, then welcome back. And if you're not, consider subscribing right now. All right, now don't forget the uh, subscriber appreciation giveaway my wife and I are doing. Uh, we're giving 10 people a hat, a hoodie, and a $100 bill, and 20 other winners will get one of these amazing hats. I'll make sure to leave a link below. All right, now today and tomorrow could have some crucial information coming out as far as uh, the current stimulus package and possibly a future stimulus package. Uh, there, there may be a new stimulus package on the horizon, um, and in today's video, I want to just go over what's happening with the current one um, and, and just let you guys know what could possibly be coming, okay? Now, tomorrow and Thursday, I'll be sharing with my community how to make money online by starting a home-based business. I'm really excited to share this information with you as the whole point of this channel is to help you guys with money. All right, now, today and tomorrow... Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and Secretary of Treasury Janet Yellen will be speaking before Congress about the $1.9 trillion stimulus package, how it's being deployed, uh, do they need to redirect money from one area over to another, uh, and whether there would be need for future additional COVID relief and possibly stimulus checks. So that's going to be happening today and tomorrow. Um, I don't want to get anybody's hopes up um, that there might be a fourth stimulus check, but uh, we'll, we'll know more information by the end of this week, and I'll continue to keep you updated on that. Now, the Treasury has announced that another large batch of stimulus checks will be direct deposited tomorrow, Wednesday the 24th, uh, and paper checks and prepaid debit cards should be going out any day now, according to them. The prepaid debit card uh, with the, the name on the back of the card will be Meta Bank, okay? Uh, it is a Visa card that can be spent anywhere, so do not throw it away, okay? Um, you should be able to, if, if you have, let's say, a bill or you owe somebody money and they're not able to accept a, a credit card or a debit card, you should be able to go to a bank or to an ATM and extract that money out, according, according to the Treasury. That'll be coming out soon. Now, by the end of this week, we'll also know more about the dates for SSI and SSDI uh, and others that are still waiting on their $1,400 stimulus payment. Also, uh, I'm reading that we might get some clarification on the timing of the stimulus checks, the, excuse me, the ongoing stimulus checks for children. Uh, whether it will start in July or at a later date, and how that might affect the total $3,000 or $3,600 uh, total payment that was written into the, the $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Um, if they start later, are they going to bulk up on the payments? For example, if it was going to be $250, is it now going to be $400 because it starts in August or September or $500? I, I don't know. So hopefully more information will be coming out about the uh, stimulus checks, the ongoing stimulus checks uh, for children. Uh, by the way, I just want to say thank you guys so much for liking my videos. It, it helps me get the word out on YouTube, and I really appreciate you. All right, now in the next few days, the Biden administration's economic team will be presenting the president with their plan for the uh, spending of $3 trillion on green energy, climate control, infrastructure, and more. Um, I thought this was Biden's bill, but apparently they are writing it and presenting it to him. So I, I was uh, a little, I misunderstood how that uh, exact bill worked. So it'll be people bringing it to him versus his idea, right? Now, in addition to the infrastructure, Biden's team wants to see free community college and continual stimulus checks for children each and every year uh, as a way to help eradicate childhood poverty. Biden's team says they want to they want the build back better plan of three trillion dollars to be the thing Biden's presidency is known for in the future. Uh, getting vaccines seems to be one of the biggest stories in the news right now. 
Some hotels are offering discount, discounted stays if you prove you were vaccinated. Krispy Kreme Donuts is offering a free glazed donut every day for the rest of 2021 if you can show that you have uh, received the vaccine. So um, isn't it interesting that um, not, not long ago, uh, we were all up in arms about them saying you might not get your stimulus check for $1,400 unless you got a vaccine. Well, now people are uh, signing up to get it just for the free donut, right? So we traded money for donuts. <laughs> all right. Uh, now, AstraZeneca, which was, is one of the vaccine companies with the COVID-19 vaccine, says that they believe that they have a new COVID fighter in the form of a pill. It will be like a vaccine, but instead of injecting it with a syringe, it will be uh, taken orally to give antibodies and immunity boost specifically to fight COVID-19 and coronavirus uh, viruses. Uh, this is still in development and of course would need the need to be signed off on by the FDA. All right, now big scam alert that you need to be aware of, uh, just something I wanna let my community know about, okay? According to the Department of Labor, don't be surprised if you suddenly get a tax bill uh, on your unemployment money or on unemployment money you never received and never filed for and never requested, okay? A new scam being carried out on the American people is using people's names, social security number, and date of birth to file for unemployment and other benefits so that the government will pay that money out to you. They use a different address, but they're collecting money in your name. And then people are now suddenly getting hit with a large tax bill. Uh, if this happens to you, you will need to file a police report and you will need to reach out to the Department of Labor. Uh, they've got a way to uh, prove that this wasn't you and, and get that off of your record. Uh, now, whenever this amount of money is handed out by a government, scammers uh, pop up and try to find a way uh, to get access to that money. It's very sad, but I just wanted to let people know about it. Now, um, I, I just want my community to know that I am aware that there are people out there saying that there is going to be a forced stimulus check. Um, I'm researching this. I'm watching this. I don't personally feel comfortable saying it will happen. Um, but again, we, we should know more in the next day or two based on what comes out of the Senate meeting with Jerome Powell and Janet Yellen. But I just want you to know it's, it's out there. It's being talked about, but it's not something that I'm going to be hyping or, or using in my community until it's official, okay? Now, before you go, do make sure to sign up for the subscriber appreciation giveaway. I'll make sure to leave a link below. Also, check out the video that I launched yesterday. It's an interview between YouTube star Meet Kevin and I, where I talk about ways to boost your income right now at your current job or by getting a new job. Uh, it's gotten really good feedback, but for some reason, YouTube didn't launch it to my community. So anyway, it's really great. It'll be right there. This is my update for today. As I know more, I will definitely come on and share more. I just wish to remind you that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community, and I'll see you on the next video.